well, another day, another dime. I have joined the ranks of tyrants who have confined, confined beings against their will for, and I quote, their own good. Something was killing my chickens. I am down to 12 now with way too many roosters. They seem to be coming over here to see what I'm talking about. So, I built a chicken run. You can see the posts, although you probably can't see the netting that I strung around it. Um, they chickens are not happy. In the mornings, they'll they all come out and they walk the perimeter of the yard, trying to find a hole. A couple of them have escaped so far. Most of them have not. You see them underneath their plotting. But uh, yeah, I built this for a couple reasons. Well, a few reasons. One, to keep them from getting killed. Uh, about between noon and two every day, I would hear, a, hear them out in the woods there just cackling, and they'd all run out into the open here. So I figured it was either a, you know, fox, coyote, or dog. So I did this to, in hopes to uh, draw it out in the open where I could get a shot at it. And last night I believe that happened. A uh, dog that some coward dumped out here. See him dancing? Trying to get him some? Anyway, some a dog came out and charged the fence. Set the chickens off. Unfortunately, I did not have my rifle out here and uh, not sure I would have shot at him anyway because he's over here and right over in there is my neighbor so without an absolutely good background I wouldn't have taken a shot at him uh, let's see a couple other reasons well, the other main reason is they're due to start laying soon. So I wanted to uh, get them in here to try to get them used to laying in the nest boxes. Which are right over there. On that side, I'll run you over there. I, I've showed you them before in other videos, but I'll do it again here in a sec. We had down to 12 chickens. And I know I have two maybe three roosters at least <laughs> trying to trying to seduce them hens he is they still aren't crouching for him the poor thing it is hot I'm absolutely certain that that's a rooster and there's at least one other who's been crowing well trying to crow and we got a couple over there who might be roosters. But they don't have the big stand up crest. They have big wattles, but they don't have the big stand up crest and the dark red comb. That one right out there has a red comb and pretty big red wattles. And that one right there. I don't know if you can see him through the netting there. He has a red comb and small wattles. So he may be a rooster as well. But pretty soon I should be eating me some chickens I actually growed. Now once I can get a couple shots into that dog and get her out of here 
I will be uh, making them free range again. Although what I intend to do is take down this netting and put a row of uh, just two foot chicken wire out and around and uh, make this into a combination chicken run slash colony rabbit area. And uh, put like steps where they can, where the bigger chickens can jump over the, uh, the fence. But the smaller chicks and the rabbits cannot get over the fence. We've got the hens all gathered around him. All but one. Are you trying to figure out what I'm doing? That's my yellow-legged one. Not actually a buff Orpington, but uh, a breed that's commonly mistaken for buff Orpingtons. Let me pause you and go around to the other side here. Here's my nest boxes. I've got paint trays in there. in the hopes of uh, getting the eggs to roll down out to here to collect them. Open this up. I bought some dummy eggs and put them in there to uh, hopefully tell the birds, you know, this is where you're supposed to lay eggs. I need to clean the coop out. Just fed them earlier today. Move around here to the front. That's the rest of their yard. See that one giving me the hairy eyeball? That's of course where they go into the coop for lockdown at night. Since I'm not letting them free range, I started feeding them again regularly. And uh, that's where the feed is stored. I kill the possum, so I set up a gut bucket. Or a maggot bucket. And that's what's left of it. He's going inside. For some reason, this rooster likes to come into this corner here and sit and grumble. And I cannot figure out why. Maybe he's just weird. Maybe he's upset because he didn't because the hens aren't mature yet. To hear him just grumble and, and cuss. But hopefully, I intend to let him out in a couple weeks. Week and a half, couple weeks. Hopefully they'll start laying by then. Buff Orpingtons are supposed to start laying about five months, so it is about time. Oh, I have looked. There are no eggs in that corner, so I don't know what he likes about it. What do you like about that corner, buddy? Anyway... There is my prison, chicken prison. There he comes back out.
hens that are actually starting to hang around him a lot more. I don't know, chickens is just weird. Anyway, thanks for watching and y'all have fun.